cold, snow, and ice. In many parts of the world, winter brings cold temperatures, snow, and ice. In winter, lakes freeze and snow covers the land. Animals that live in places where seasons change have many adaptations to survive winter. Adaptations include ways animals look and how they act. Many layers of thick fur keep wolves warm. Winter adaptations. How do animals survive winter? Many animals migrate or move from one place to another. Animals with wings may migrate in the fall. Some herd animals, such as caribou, also migrate. Many monarch butterflies migrate to California and Mexico. Some caribou herds migrate over 400 miles, 644 kilometers, between their summer and winter homes. Some animals hibernate. Many toads dig down into the soil and go into what seems like a long, deep sleep. Other hibernators eat heavily in the fall to get fat. Some toads hibernate in burrows. Since they cannot eat while they hibernate, they use energy from their body fat to stay alive. Woodchucks, also known as groundhogs, eat constantly as the time to hibernate nears. Other animals are not true hibernators, but they do spend much of the winter in their homes, living on stored food and resting. Skunks, raccoons, and black bears wake to eat on warmer days. Raccoon Active animals have other adaptations. Some animals' fur turns from brown to white for the winter months. This camouflage helps them blend in against the snow. The snowshoe hare's fur coat helps it hide from its enemies in summer and in winter. Many active animals eat stored food or grow thicker fur. Others, such as mice, live in tunnels under the snow. Snow acts like a blanket to help keep them warm. Gray jays store insects, berries, seeds, and other foods in trees. Rodents stay warm and hidden by using a network of snow tunnels. Spring again. As spring returns, temperatures rise and the snow and ice melt away. Migrating animals return. Monarchs begin flying north in March. Early flowers welcome spring. Sleeping animals wake. Color changers replace their white fur with summer brown. The animals have used their adaptations to survive and are ready for spring. In spring, the Arctic fox sheds its white winter fur and grows a lighter brown coat. For people in the northern United States and Canada, the robin's return is a sign of spring.